So Yolanda recently got a big fat buff that allows her to grant bonus turns to team members at the end of her turn. I wanted to talk about this and show some footage of this. It allows some pretty hilarious combinations. You compare people like Winstrex, Eve First Dawn, even Mary with this, and be able to get some pretty awesome results. I want to show you guys a little bit of uh, footage of me just messing around, trying to see how many turns in a row I can get. I think you can get like seven turns in a row or something hilarious for your team. And I also want to open up the conversation of us pairing people like Yolanda, and uh, obviously Eve First Dawn's one with her ultimate that gives everyone a bonus this turn here uh, as well as Winstrex to resetting alts for things like Celestial Kane, as well as Mary. These people give bonus turns or have invulnerability for one round as well. And I think there's some potential for an unkillable type of team to be built for Guild Boss. So I just want to talk about that conversation today. That is what happens. So love y'all. Let's get going. Hey, so I've been messing around a lot with Yolanda and the Eve changes lately, but mostly Yolanda. What I want to talk about in this video is how the Yolanda change is actually a really big deal for her. Um, something about being able to pick a bonus turn, if you didn't know, allows you to combo with a lot of different other abilities. So what I want to show you here is an example of that real quick before we further talk about why she's so good now. So I want to show you a combination between Yolanda, Windstrex, and Eve, for instance, okay? So if you have, and you don't have to have this to make uh, Yolanda good, this is just one such combination I'm gonna show you that's hilarious because it, it opens up the potential for this loop that is something I haven't seen before. So what you can do here, skip to your Eve, have your Eve go first, you can use your bonus turns. Now, if you watch what happens here, is you can see it's gonna generate three bonus turns for everyone but Eve right here. Then what we do is we reset that ability on her one more time, okay? We're just gonna basic attack with Savannah here. Now he's gonna go, he's gonna take his turn, okay? Now it's our turn, we're gonna put the bonus turn here, which is gonna grant us another Eve turn right there. Now we know her ability is reset already because uh, what we did was we used the A2 from Windstrex on here. So now we use this one more time and check this out. It's going to give <laughs> one more time. It's going to give three more turns. So now we've got even more turns available to us here and we can use the ultimate to give ourselves more attack up and speed up, etc., just like that and change the turn order if necessary. And then it will give us even more turns before he gets to go again. So look, he still hasn't gone. Now it's Yolanda. We can go ahead and use the shield or whatever. We can just basic attack if we want. We don't even need the shield at this point, but it doesn't matter. Then what we can do is we can click here one more time. We can reset this ability. Now look, here she goes. We can use the alt again. And that's going to give us another three turns there at the end of the round. And then we can go one more time. So I want to talk about how giving just one extra bonus turn can be a really big deal because it, it's not only an additional bonus turn, it's an additional cooldown. So basically, if you have somebody like Winstrex or you have somebody like Eve, where one cooldown can mean a really big, a really big difference in how many turns your whole team's going to get, a bonus turn can be a really big deal. And that's bef that's before we even talk about the immune and attack up too. Like I'm not really even getting into that part of it. But I've noticed this combination becoming more available. Now I've messed around with taking out the Savannah and putting in like, you know, what if I put in like Mary who's got another bonus turn and Invincible and all that. And I haven't been able to figure out an unkillable team yet, but there's definitely some kind of 100% protection and killable comp out there that can be figured out that my brain hasn't wrapped around yet because if i'm able to just do this looping like i'm kind of doing right here in this cheesy game mechanic i guarantee you there is there's got to be somebody out there even smarter than me that can sit down and do the math and get the turn order right because we've got celestial canes and vulnerable for a turn we've got uh, bonus turns from mary We've got bonus turns from Yolanda. We've got bonus turns from Eve first on. We've got ultimate resetting from Windstrex. We have a, a lot of different ways in which we can get this constant unkillable team set up. So that's what I'm kind of excited to get the conversation out there about today and see if we can get get anyone to help us figure out how to get that done. So if anyone out there has got it done, let me know in the comments down below. If you don't think it's possible, let me know that as well. Maybe my math's just bad and we don't have 
quite enough bonus turns yet, but that's what I've been trying to figure out now. I've been sitting here for a few hours, messing around with some different characters, trying to figure out different ways to basically get this three-man combination to go ahead and pop off with some really hilarious results. So let me see what you're able to do. You can repl replace Eve first dawn, um, but the Windstrex first dawn combination is an absolutely crazy one when paired with uh, Yolanda as well because of that free bonus turn. So I just want to say that that is a one of the best changes I've seen uh, in the game in a while. Yolanda is significantly better than she used to be. And thank God, honestly, because I pulled a bunch of her and every time I pulled Yolanda, I was, I mean, there's videos of me being like, dude, like third or fourth Yolanda in a row. Like I remember I pulled three pity Yolandas in a row, like absolute 100 shards in a row just to get a Yolanda. And that happened three times in a row. And I was so ragey, I was about ready to quit the game. But thank God that uh, it's not quite as bad now. Now these Yolandas are starting to pay off a little bit, so I don't feel quite so bad about it. Let me know what you think. Go out there and test this. See if anyone out there that has either Mary or Windstrex or Yolanda, Celestial Kane, any of these heroes, go see if you can figure out an unkillable team and let us know in the Discord. Join the Discord in the comments down below. Show us screenshots and all that. See how far you got and how many bonus turns you're able to get in a row. Pretty fun conversation. That's it. That's all I want to talk about. Love y'all. See you on the next video.